HIV, SARS, influenza, hepatitis C, Ebola, COVID-19. What do all of these things have in common? They're all viruses, parasitic genetic material that rely on our cells to infect, replicate, and spread. They do not think, they do not feel. Some may even call them microscopic machines. Now, all the viruses I just mentioned to you are pathogenic, causing widespread disease across the human population. But what if I told you not all viruses are bad? In fact, what if a virus could treat cancer? Today, I will be introducing you to one such virus and the topic of my research, Reovirus. So why should you care about Reovirus? Well, Reovirus does not cause disease. In fact, Reovirus has a natural tendency to replicate in and subsequently kill cancer cells, but not healthy cells. Cancer cells are chaotic. They have altered growth and altered metabolism when compared to healthy cells, and the virus actually prefers this chaos for its own replication. Now, when real virus first encounters a cell, it needs to break apart. All of its protein pieces need to disassemble so that it can release its internal genetic material into the cellular environment, where it can be made into proteins and replicated, much like our own genetic material. Those newly made proteins then need to assemble into new viruses that can go on to infect more cancer cells. Sounds pretty straightforward, right? Well, here's the problem. Imagine you were building a 3D puzzle or Lego set, except all of those pieces are spread across your house. And one more thing, it's not actually your house, it's a hoarder's house where everything is in a chaotic disarray. That's real virus replicating within the cancer cell. The goal of my project is to understand how real virus orchestrates its assembly process. By fractionating the cell into its individual compartments, much like the rooms of a house, I can probe for which proteins are there. In addition to what viral proteins are present, I want to know in what order do they assemble. When you're building a Lego set, do you start from the bottom and add every individual piece on, one at a time? Or do you pre-assemble pieces and then combine them to make a whole? That's what I want to know. By understanding this assembly process, I can manipulate it and make a better cancer-killing machine. Thank you. Mm -hmm.